Okay students, let us discuss about notice from the minor discourses today. Before we get into the details, let's try to understand what a notice is. A notice is a formal document written for the purpose of intimating an important announcement or an agenda or a warning or any schedule. A notice is not meant for one-to-one -one communication. It is rather meant for wider communication with a wide group of recipients. Obviously, there will be certain information in our schools or in any offices which that particular management would like to share with a wide group of recipients. So in that circumstances, that management or that office will display a notice in the notice board or they will publish that notice in the print media. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> in this connection, we often see notices being affixed or served in banks, public offices or in any business firms even in the schools. We often see notices being affixed in a notice board as I said a little while ago. Uh, uh, we can see that the notices being sent in the form of a circular in schools and in offices are published in print media. Now before attempting a notice, consider the following things. The first thing, what is the context? Here I mean to say that what is the purpose or reason for which the notice is served. And the second important thing is that the language see that your language is in such a way that it is conveying the mood of that particular piece of notification. As I said a little while ago, we use, we send notices to for different purposes like to order, to give instructions, to, to inform about an event. So in, in all these occasions, you have to use the language in such a way that your language carries that particular mood of an order or instruction or an invitation. Obviously, we have to use formal language. Don't be casual. Now, as a uh, you are going to appear for the 10th class examination. It is obvious that we write, we present our paper to get good marks. So in order to get good marks, I would like to suggest this particular point. Keep these five WH questions in your mind. They are, what, where, why, who and the whom. I mean to say, what is the notification about? Uh, where the piece of information, or uh, where that particular piece of information is happening? Why you are displaying that notice? Who is, who is sending the notice and to whom it is sent? Let's see the details. Now, as I said, what is the notice about? Your notice must answer to this question. What is the notice about? And here, coming to where, we have two aspects. One, where it is going to be displayed. Is it going to be displayed in notice board or is it going to be displayed uh, 
sent in the form of the circular or is it going to be published in a print media of course there will be some little bit of difference in the language that we use in case of notice board circular or print media and the second thing is that suppose you are conveying some piece of information about an event or an occasion your draft must answer for the question where that something is happening and why it is served and what is the ultimate purpose of that notice obviously we serving that notice that information must be there and uh, who is our target group i mean to say that to whom that notice is served by looking by seeing at the notice one should get an idea of all these five questions what is the notice about uh, where is that particular piece of information or particular event is happening why it is served and who is who is giving that notice and to whom it is given now as we are writing the examination as we are going to appear for the examination i would suggest that you stick to certain standard layout notice consist a certain layout that i will give you with a with a beautiful example after a while so stick to the layout see that uh, you are reading the notice again and again you proofread the notice once you finish with the drafting once you finish with the draft and uh, here in terms of uh, keeping the examination in mind i would like to suggest some standard phrases like these phrases are particularly useful to the students so in any notice you can begin your notice with these uh, standard phrases the first phrase you can begin your sentence with uh, this is here by informed and you can continue with the rest of the rest of the piece of the information or you can also begin your notice by starting it is to bring to the notice of all or it is it is to bring to the notice of all the students or something like that or you can also begin your notice by saying that you are here by inform at that dash 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 or you can also go with this particular standard phrase this piece of information is brought to your notice that dash 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 so in order to get that mood you can use these uh, standard phrases or if you are good enough in english language or if you have you can use good better language than this you can choose any of the sentence you can write you can use any of the sentence the only thing is that it should convey that mood that by reading the first sentence itself one should feel that it is a notice and uh, in that notice is trying to convey some information now let's see one example let's see one sample question you may come across a question like this in your annual examination particularly in paper 1 uh, i forgot to say that notice message and diary these three are the minor discourses that are asked in the paper 1 now the question you may come across the question like this imagine you recently read an article in a newspaper that health emergency was declared in a small hamlet close to sitipet it was declared as a virus from nearby poultry farm polluted the surrounding areas air and water now write a notice as the secretary of the eco club that there shall be parents meeting in the auditorium of the school 
as a part of awareness program and to inform about safety measures to be taken. Now for this question, now see how the answer shall will be like. Now look at the answer. Now in any notice here, we just focus on the layout that I'm going to discuss with you. So in any notice, the first line, the head, heading, the heading, the first heading should be the name of the office. Now, as in this case, this is a notice about a parents' meeting in a school. So here I am writing the name of the school. Then immediately after that, notice. That is the second heading. The heading should be notice. So by looking at that, one should feel that it is a notice. It is a piece of information that is conveyed to all. Now, in the notice, in the left hand car, left hand side, write the date, if possible, the station name. Now, then comes the body of the notice. Your body of the notice must be very precise. It it must be very clear. It must be very contextual based. It should convey the exact piece of information. Now see, for the above question, how I, I have prepared the body of the body of the notice. I used one of the phrases that I have suggested. This is hereby informed that there is a meeting of parents in our school auditorium on twentieth November, two thousand twenty, at ten a.m. Our district authorities are going to visit the school and address us about the safety measures to be taken since health emergency has been declared in our village. Please attend the meeting without fail. Signed by the Secretary, Eco Club. Okay. Here, in this standard layout, you can see that the first heading is the name of the office the second heading is the of course the notice itself you have to write the date the body of the letter and then this subs in the subscript part who is giving that notice so let us see whether the five wh questions are answered or not the first question what what is the notification about? This notice is about parent meeting that we can see. The second question is where here in this notice we are conveying the information about a parent meeting and here it is very clearly mentioned that the parent meeting is conducted in the school auditorium and particularly date also is given mentioned including along with the time. Now, why? The reason is also here we can see we are giving this notice for the parents to attend for the parent meeting in the wake of emergency that has been declared in that village. Next, who is giving that uh, info notice? That notice is served by Secretary Eco Club and to whom it is given? It is given to all the students and of course the parents as well. 